In Kyrgyzstan, uh, following the breakup of the Soviet Union, there was a very large number of uh, small farmers that were created. And many of these farmers were very poor. There were some refugees. Uh, most of them did not have access to quality inputs, particularly quality seed. So the idea of the community seed funds was to address originally from the poverty alleviation point of view this issue of providing them with good seed. The community seed funds are basically village level revolving funds that are based around seed. An initial tranche of seed was provided to self-help groups at the village level that were already existing. They'd been formed by local NGOs. They were provided with the seed and then expected to repay the seed at the end of the year in an amount that was designed to increase or maintain the value of the fund. These seeds were then distributed to another group of farmers um, the following season. And so over time, the idea was that these funds would increase in value and seed would be provided to different groups of farmers. Seed banks by themselves are not a new concept. But what was new about this was that the real focus on the sustainability of these seed funds. So we worked for a, a long period of time, now 10 years. Uh, we, we worked with existing self-help groups, with existing local NGOs. Um, we put a very strong monitoring activity in and support program in such that they would be uh, uh, keep going. Uh, we formed a management structure for each of the community seed funds. Each one had to register uh, with the local government. And eventually we formed a national federation of community seed funds in order to continue the process of providing support and facilitation for these development of these funds. So the innovation really was in the governance structure and the long-term sustainability uh, of these funds, not in the idea of the funds themselves. With the improved seed, which was cleaned, treated, bagged quality seed of registered varieties, um, the yields were often 50% higher than they had been, and they had less distribution of weeds, cleaner seed, cleaner fields, and so on. Around about 80% of the first group actually maintained themselves or expanded, and some even developed into full-scale cooperatives um, over time. Uh, so we're very, very pleased with this, that some of these have really uh, managed to survive and grow over time. So as a result, in the next follow-on project, we were asked to do more of these, and so now we've done, I think, another 142 of them, um, which at the moment is only a small number of farmers, but we would anticipate, um, you know, eventually maybe 50,000 more farmers would be covered by these community seed funds.